quite lovely, wouldn't you say? Looks like a pyramid, a pyramid there, another pyramid. A lot of people seeing spaceships up in the clouds. They're hiding in the clouds. They're here, there's so many here. Uh, James Gilliam from Eseti, E-C-E-T-I, -E I think it's Eseti Ranch. <clears throat> they, at nighttime they watch, well all the time actually, uh, extraterrestrial uh, uh, spaceships and all that. He said, in this show I just watched, which is their latest one, he said the, 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 the night, that last night, they saw, like, he said he lost count. It was over a hundred ships. He said in one frame, I think they took a picture, there were like five ships in one frame. And uh, he said, uh, you know, and they can tell their ships by the way they fly and everything. And then they'll ask them to power up. And apparently they have the ability to glow really bright brightly. So when they ask them, and sometimes they'll glow real brightly, which indicates they are actually listening. <sighs> so, yeah, if you don't know ETs here by now, <laughs> uh, you are stone asleep. I mean, they're even putting that in the legacy media. I heard you should call it legacy media. You know, the regular TV shit. God, if you're watching TV, ugh, God almighty, if you even have a TV in your house, Lord, the only reason to have a TV in your house now is if they start running the emergency broadcast shit, it'll come across your TV. That'd be the only reason to have one. Otherwise, there is nothing, nothing, nothing. It's poison. Tell a vision. They're telling you a vision that they want you to have. They are programming. Watch your programs. They're programming you. Get it? The flicker rate uh, blinks at a certain rate to open your mind up. Then they send in the words they want you to get. Coopy. Coopy. Cooper, come here. It's uh, just God Almighty. Turn the fuck. Just turn. There's no reason for TV anymore. Get you a widescreen, hook it to Roku, and just watch movies and uh, internet, YouTube. Watch YouTube. Even if it's compromised, at least it's not TV. The real news is on the internet. It's on Rumble, on YouTube, uh, on dot coms. That's the only place you're going to get real news. <sighs> so anyway, s -s -s Sunday. It's <sighs> all so, uh, wet from the rain. They say it's going to take a couple years, even after they take control of... Uh, those the bad guys had control of the weather the good guys have taken it back but shit is going to take about two years to straighten out so you're still having bad weather or weird weather whatever strange shit going on well gooby and it's going to just take a while to balance itself back out again so it's not bad guys I mean, good guys doing bad things. It's just stuff that was set in motion. And they they were talking about uh, T-E-R-O-T -E by Janine. Was talking to a guy from Maine. And uh, they were talking about the flooding up there. That they were trying to blame it on the rain, but there, there wasn't enough rainfall. Uh, Chloe. 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 There wasn't enough rainfall to make that kind of a rise in the rivers and stuff. And they pulled some tarot cards on it. And here, right here, buddy. Right here. Right there. Right there. And she said it was coming from under the ground and coming from far away. And in other words, the, our, our boys are underground fighting and clearing out these underground things. They uh, bring... Uh, water through there but in this case all this remember the smoke and everything and people were saying the smoke smelled weird it didn't smell like uh 
wood burning. Well, that was coming from the underground shit. I said this guy's opinion on that show was that they burned it out first and then they flooded it. They're trying to cleanse all this shit because it, we can't ascend with that much horror still under our ground. And there are, uh, there are uh, species that are benevolent, good, in other words, uh, living underground. And they've been underground for a long, long time and perfectly happy not to be in touch with us. But they do come up from time to time. And uh, I, I'm hearing that they are all uh, getting ready to start coming up and helping us in this fight. And Because soon we will all be one together in this thing bringing earth into a heavenly space a lot of people say we're in for a thousand years of peace don't care uh i say it's 200 years and i say if you want to live uh ollie ollie don't lay in that please don't lay in that you gonna drink some muddy water come here muddy buddy want some cheese here Uh, anyway, I don't even know what I was saying. Have a good Sunday. It's all happening. Uh, it all started with the extraterrestrials, bad ones taking over the planet. And now we're running, they're all run off now, and it's getting better and better and better every day. When the military kicks in, you know, it's, it's happening.